right now at 4.30, we are still waiting to find out if charges will be filed against two men taken into custody in connection with the shooting of a Bedford Park police officer. It happened early Sunday morning near a gas station in the 6800 block of Archer Road. That's where CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live with the latest on the officer's condition tonight. Megan? Right, Joe and Marie, I'm told the officer who is a veteran with more than 15 years with the Bedford Park Police Department had emergency surgery yesterday. At last check, he was still in the ICU. Though he was shot several times, I'm told he's expected to make a full recovery. Police say around 3.40 a.m. on Sunday, officers responded to a car crash right by the police department and discovered a stolen gray BMW that had collided with a dumpster. The car had been reported stolen in a carjacking in Chicago. Police said surveillance video showed two men running into a wooded area behind this nearby Speedway gas station. Then the two men entered a car and when officers moved in to investigate, one suspect pulled out a gun, shooting the officer multiple times. Two adults were taken into custody and two guns were recovered at the scene. And I absolutely want to commend the responding officers who got there quickly, were able to put a tourniquet on that officer that likely saved his life and were able to get them to the hospital quickly. National Fraternal Order of Police Vice President Joe Gamaldi tells us this officer is one of at least 335 officers shot in the line of duty across the country so far this year. According to the FOP's October 2023 report, that number surpasses the total for 2022 and is on track to surpass 2021, which according to the FBI was the deadliest year for officers since 1995. It is completely historic. It's unprecedented. And we know why it's happening. The inflammatory rhetoric towards police officers, the revolving door criminal justice system where criminals are no longer held accountable for their actions. Again, we're still waiting for charges to be approved in this case. Bedford Park Police tell me they are currently in contact with the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Coming up at 6, we'll also dig into how Illinois stacks up when it comes to line of duty deaths, the rise of line of duty deaths across the country. Live in Bedford Park, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. We'll see you at 6. Megan, thank you.